Hi, welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I'm a mom and this is my son Ethan. And we like to watch and react to TV shows and movies, mostly geeky and action content. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we just finished up uh, season, uh, season one, episode, episode three. three. And we just saw Medusa and they did change it up from the books. And we had a really nice discussion at the end of the last episode reaction. If you want to check that out, that's in the link below. And yeah, we feel differently about adaptations. But I think we can both agree that I so think far, was, so it, good. It was, it was good. The question for me is, do I like it more than the original? Right. Because I am very much a purist when it comes to adaptations. Yeah. So any changes or deviations are always going to be met with scrutiny from me. Yes. Because the only way I will accept changes is if I find it's better than what was originally there. And so far, I don't know if it's necessarily better... But I'm not opposed to it. Let's put it this way. And that's the highest... That, that, you know, that's one of the highest praise you're going to get out of me. Exactly. Because let me tell you, he's ripped apart every other adaptation for everything else that he's liked. And so for us to get this far into the series and for him to be like, okay, I'm okay with the changes. Let's see where it takes us. Is is really positive. <laughs> it's just better than I had hoped for, actually. Look, I have my look. I have my standards. <laughs> I'm much less of a purist than Ethan, and uh, I'm looking forward to this. I don't remember what happens after the Medusa. Let's just go into the episode. Okay. okay. Let's just go into the episode. I want to go in blind, and let's get started. In three, two, one. Percy, you can't ship Medusa's head to Olympus. Ah, yes. I was very Why happy not? that they kept that in. Because that the cool. gods won't like it. And I'm assuming that's Hermes. You have to let go, Percy. So much, so much. Oh. Yeah, you really can. You just have to try. I did try. No. <laughs> How ironic that a son of Poseidon is scared of swimming. <laughs> One day, it could be really, really important, and I may not be there to help you when that happens, so I need to make sure you can do it. Freeze. You telling me to learn how to swim so I can save you since uh -huh. you can't. <laughs> That's what you always tell me to do. Oh, look at those eyes. Breathe, Mom. Breathe. It's okay. Aww. Hello again, little it's Hades. hero. A forbidden hero. Wow. They attract doom. She is coming. Who's she? And who the heck is the voice? All questions I have. Shh. If you know, don't tell me. These are all rhetorical. <laughs> She was the last forbidden kid before me, right? She must have dealt with the same kind of stuff. When Luke and Thalia found me, Luke cared for me right away. But Thalia, she made me earn it. Is that why you give me a hard time? I gotta earn it with you too? Yeah, maybe. What well, doesn't make sense to you? The way you guys all talk. The way the gods want us to think. Gotta burn an offering to get a parent's attention. Gotta beat up on Clarice just to get my father to admit he's my father. It isn't supposed to work that way. People who are close to you aren't supposed to treat you that way. I started out as a gift to my father. That's how it works with Athena. We're born from a thought in her mind and then given to a partner she feels connected to. Then he met a woman. They had their own kids. And to her, I, I wasn't a gift. I was a problem. So I left. I was seven. Damn, that's young. This is all book accurate to what I It isn't the gods who think oh, yeah. that way. Mm. It's everybody. But at least with the gods, you know the rules. Show them respect and they'll be in your corner no matter what. Are you okay? He's super grouchy when he doesn't get enough sleep. He's super grouchy when he doesn't get enough... Yeah. <laughs> wow. You've never been on a boat with him before. A little different than Froofy boarding school. Who's Froofy? You're Froofy. What's Froofy? <laughs> I think I need to eat. <laughs> Grover's hangry. <laughs> Can I ask a dumb question? It's like you need me to make fun of you. <laughs> How will we have any idea where we're going? No idea. But that's like step 37, and we're still on step four. Cross that bridge when we get there. Follow up, stupid question. Dude. And you shall fail to say what matters most in the end. Seems like something we ought to be taking a little more seriously. 
Are those centaurs? Whoa. There used to be herds of them everywhere. What happened to them? A few thousand years ago, the god of the wild, Pan, disappeared. And ever since, without Pan to protect the natural world, humans have been trying really hard to chip away at it. The Oracle didn't say the quest would fail. Fail to save what matters most. That can mean a lot of things. That's how prophecies work. That's how fate works. It can mean a lot of things. The harder you work to understand, the harder it gets to understand. Sometimes you just gotta let it come to you when it's ready. Mm -hmm. Whoa. You wanna explain? Sir, when we left to get breakfast, everything was intact. We don't know how this happened. We got a witness here, says she heard the window smash and then heard children's voices. Oh, come on. It well, if he's not a monster, what's going on here? A woman, maybe? Why would anyone tear our room apart? We don't have anything. The people who think you stole Zeus's master bolt might disagree. You poor dears. She's the monster. Don't children get scared when they're all alone? Oh, there's something oh, in there. Oh, I know what this scene is. I know how scared you must be. Mm -mm. Don't trust her. I don't know who you are, but I think I know what you are. We've run across a few monsters like you, and we've sent them all packing. Monsters like me. Of course they're like me. They were my children. The mother of monsters. Yeah, what's that mean? Echidna. What's echidna? Really don't know mythology. Are you afraid yet? <gasps> it's all right. Fear's natural. I needed you to understand what was happening so that she could track the scent. Swords, get your swords out, get your swords out. You should run now. My goodness. That's in the books? Where is he? Open this door! Come back! Get her open this door! What is that? It's a stinger. Gover, do you know what kind of monster has one of those? I don't know. I mean, nothing good, probably. Do you feel okay? I think so. We just need a safe place to hole up. Someplace safe. A sanctuary dedicated to Athena. Built by one of her demigod children a long time ago. Oh, I think I remember this part. Except it's not all that hidden. It's the arch, right? Yes. Yes, I remember this part from the book, I think. We're safe here, right? No monsters can enter. Not even Echidna. Well, since our train exploded, I'm gonna see if there's another one we can get tickets on. We can't stay here forever. So, this is your mom's place? Wonder if she's around. Be right down, just go into the potty. <coughs> nice. I have a gift. <laughs> your thing with your mom, I get it. It's different, it works for you, but my father, I don't want anything from him. He's had his chances. Honestly, you've done more for me in the past few days than my father's done in my entire life. If I have to stick with someone, Careful. I think you're about to call me a friend. Hmm. I think this singer thing's were poisonous. I have an idea. Come on, help me. Water. Get him in water. Right? <laughs> we, just, we just put him in the pool. In the fountain. He's, everyone's just leaving him away. The here and back at camp. It should work for poison too, right? Maybe it needs to be naturally running water for Poseidon to be able to heal. We're gonna get to the altar. And I'm going to ask my mom for help. What did she say? How can she get in? I thought she couldn't get in. Is that the chimera? How did the chimera even get inside here? How did any monster get inside here? Annabeth, we're in a sanctuary. Athena would have had to let her in, but why would she do that? Annabeth, what did Echidna say to you? She said my impertinence wounded my mother's pride. And that that will be my doom. Medusa's head. I embarrassed my mother. Uh-oh. But I'm the one who sent the head to Olympus. I signed the note. And I went along with it. And if my mother isn't going to protect us, then we'll just have to fight it out of here. <sighs> you and Percy followed them down. What? No, no, we're, we're not splitting up. He looks so pale. Help him down the stairs and get him to the river. And don't stop. Not till you get to Hades. 
Not to you have the vote. Do you hear me? She's gonna sacrifice herself. Take this. Good idea. <laughs> oh! Percy! Oh, Percy! I would have never made it to Hades. Percy? But you can. And now you will. Percy! Oh! Okay. Get her angrier. Don't don't bring down the monument. Oh, no. oh! Oh shit! Oh my god! Did he fall to his head? No, he didn't fall to his head. Obviously not. With the, with the, he's hanging on to something. If only someone cared enough for you to provide you with one. <laughs> Bitch. Oh no! Wow. Way to come through. Wow. Your father sent me to tell you. It's all right. Just breathe. Your father is here. He's always been here. And he's so very proud. Just Breathe. Breathe. That must be cool to be able to breathe underwater. <laughs> oh, and that's where it's gonna end. Okay. I have, I don't have a lot of base, I don't have a lot of things to go by because I don't remember the books, I don't remember the mythology, so this really is for me like blind kind of just watching it. Mm. So what are your thoughts? Because I know you remember a lot more than I do. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because they're kind of taking elements of, but it's like it's different order because they were on a train, I believe, when they met the Fury mm -hmm. first. The tra they go on a train earlier, mm -hmm. then they meet the Fury, they run, find Medusa, and then I okay. think they somehow get to St. Louis Arch. That's when they meet Echidna and the Chimera, Percy falls off, etc. Okay. But here they kind of do it differently. They were on a bus, then the Fury comes. Chases them all the way to Medusa. They right. kill Medusa and kill the Fury. Mm. And now they are on a train. Meet Echidna. Percy's weakened by the Chimera. They make it to the Arch and etc. Hmm. I mean, overall, it's pretty much roughly the same with the story. So I don't mind. But what I do remember was, I believe, Echidna was sent by Zeus in the books. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, as a way to stop them. Okay. Kind of like how uh, Hades sent the his monsters, the Furies, the Furies after Percy in this right. book, and then if you and then in the past and sent them after Thalia, Luke, and uh, Annabeth and Grover. I don't know how I feel about Athena making that choice, Miss Miss Logical Tactician, knowing that she can't control someone who's not. It's literally not her daughter that sent the head. It's Percy. Right, and son by association. Of someone, son of someone who she hates. Right, exactly. So wouldn't that give her all the more reason to say, you know what, like, you know, like, Percy, it was Percy's impertinence, right? You're right, it was Percy sending a decision to send Medusa's head to the gods, right? So why is she taking it out on Annabeth? Why is she saying that Annabeth embarrassed her? To me, it feels petty, and gods are petty, as we know in Greek mythology, Greek and Roman mythology. Gods, petty. <laughs> True. Right. So for me, it's in character for Athena or any of the other gods to be petty. So to me, it's it's on their whims. Whatever they do or how they act, how they treat their demigod children, all on their whim. And so for me, mm. the, the what we saw on the TV show and the adaptation, uh, I think, like you said, it hit all the beats, even if it was out of order. I think it's hitting all the, the major, major beats, beats, right? I'm not disagreeing with um, that, no. And I think that what they did, though, and what they showed makes sense to me. Because it shows that Athena is petty, just like all the other gods, right? And 
and it gave you know I guess in the in the books Poseidon did save Percy as well. I don't remember if it's Poseidon specifically because if I remember correctly in the or books he Nereid falls Nereid or Nereid whatever Nereid, Nereid whatever he falls Nereid. off. If uh-huh. she, he falls off the bridge, lands in river, whatever the hell that is, and then yes, then Nared is sent from his father right. to like talk to him, but it's not Poseidon specifically who like saves him. And but then he, he sent her, so that's that means that he, you know, so. <laughs> that's like sending a messenger and being like, I can't be here right now. You're not important he, enough. For no, me to get he there. sent the messenger to do I'm, it. I'm so. just saying to say that that. Means he cares. Yeah, sure. That's like the token minimum. <laughs> like he's literally but at least he sending did the token minimum. He's literally sending like instead of like instead of like talking to himself. Maybe as we learn later, there's something called an iris message where you can basically talk to anyone across the across the globe. You, nothing like that. No, we're sending a servant to just go over there and talk to him. I'm yeah. just saying that's like very bare minimum in terms okay, he's of got he issues. cares. He's got issues. Okay, <laughs> he definitely has some issues. But what I'm saying is, is that um, I, I liked it. I liked what I saw. I thought Percy's self-sacrifice was interesting. I didn't expect that. I really expected because I didn't remember the books or mythology, whatever. I don't. I don't remember anything. So going in blind, I really thought Annabeth was going to sacrifice herself. Not sacrifice herself. She was planning to sacrifice herself, right? She didn't see that she was going to survive, right, against the Chimera. Just so that Percy and Grover could continue the quest, um, but she was prepared to sacrifice herself, and obviously I knew she was going to get out of it. But then the the thing that Percy did in switching it, I was like, oh, that's cool. I didn't expect that. No, um, I, and so I thought that here, was cool. That was a cool I, move. I because I did know the books, and I know that it is right. in the end Percy who fights uh, the Chimera. Right. I'm like. I don't know if I like how this is going when Annabeth's talking all this about right, sacrificing right, herself. Right. I, but then when Percy did the switcheroo, I'm like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, okay, I can get with this. I can get yeah. with this. I thought it was cool. But I think it showed how far Annabeth will go for, for them to, to to finish and complete the quest. Um, you know, she's willing to, to die for it and to sacrifice herself. So I think that showed it as well. And Percy as well. He was, you know, he I think he fully realized that he could die from the poison Die fighting the Chimera, whatever. To some of my thoughts, I think this was a pretty good episode. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about the whole thing about... It feels kind of like Rick Riordan's going more into the... Gods are very petty and can switch on a dime, which... Well, isn't that mythologically accurate? It doesn't... F- when, Like what you said with uh, the gods being very... Petty? By their whim, petty, what have you. It just doesn't feel... For me, I don't think it's on a whim. I think gods are proud. And I think that uh, any insults, no matter how minor or misconstrued, um, can, can they can be petty about it. And the thing is, is that that's not only consistent with mythology, but I think consistent with Rick Riordan's books as well. Gods are proud. and, and... But Athena, to my knowledge, never did something this petty in the books. Not to not like this. I don't know. Because again, I don't, I don't recall. Like I said, I don't recall the books. So I can't remember really any of the gods being this. I guess petty towards their own children. Let me let me clarify that. Never this petty towards their own children. Cause that. Well, in the comments, if you guys have an answer to that, I don't remember. I have no basis of comparison, so I don't know. So that that part is like I'm, I don't I'm not sure how I feel about. But the rest of the episode. Was uh, pretty enjoyable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. I enjoyed it just from a blind kind of, like I said, I don't remember the books and I know a little bit about the mythology. Um, I enjoyed the episode. Um, Obviously, I knew Percy wasn't going to die, but still, like, yeah. But um, it was interesting because you get to see more of the interactions between. Percy and Annabeth and Grover, especially on the train when they were talking. Now we know that Grover gets hangry <laughs> and, he, and he needs to sleep. And I, I like the discussion that Annabeth and Percy were having. Like, I like that it goes beyond just snarky kind of like bickering. But like now they're getting into deepening their friendship and now they're really discussing things. Like, and like Percy said, like Annabeth's done more for him in a day or two that that Poseidon's done his whole life, at least in his in his eyes. So I like that kind of deepening of the friendships between the three of them um, as they're going along on this quest. So I really I really like that part. So yeah, 
I like this episode. I like this episode. There wasn't any like huge, you know, whatever, but I I liked I liked the growth that I saw in the relationships and in the characters. So thank you guys for joining us. Let us know in the comments. We had a lot of questions, again, referring back to the books and also, you know, original mythology. Why, why were they at why were they yeah, at the one. arch? Because Good I, question. I, I don't remember if you guys know the answer, let us know. And also, if you have any, you it's know, clarifying answers for us, because we're confused as all heck. And so we would love uh, to hear your thoughts about this episode. Tell us what you guys thought. And we will see you next week for episode five. Thanks. Bye.